Hello and welcome back. Uh, making a video on uh, Toolviz time freeze, um, and uh, this was a video was made on the 8th of April 2015, um, which shows that on their website they've got a new version, version 3.0.0 as you can see from here, and the operating system. It only works on Windows, PCs and these are the operating systems um, <clears throat> and they've got a change log of all the old ones but looking at this one this this one forces you to once you've installed it uh, I'm just running it through quickly it forces you to drop all changes after the machine restarts um, and then once uh, after you install this new version and then you kick in the time freeze um, your system is frozen until you cancel it and then it it uh, when you restart it it drops all the changes so it doesn't give you the option where in the old one which I've got a copy of which is version 2.1.0.0 and this works on Windows 7 and I've got Windows 8.1, it works fine on that as well. For, so luckily, I have kept um, the old version, which uh, is a small file, version 2.1.0.0, uh, 2.48 megabytes. And the new one um, is uh, 3.0.0.2000, and it's 2.84 megabytes. Now... I'll show you what it may, uh, what it what it does and why what, what I mean uh, when you restart. So basically, what what it does is, um, if I just hide the tray, start it, asks for the password which I've set, and then you are in the program and it shows you the version, and you can set your program settings. The Normal mode is displayed as a floating toolbar on the top of the desktop, so you tick that, this is already ticked, and then you can enable password protection on this version. And it also allows you to lock files except Windows system files, you can't put them in there, and um, so you can protect your folders, it hides them, um, we'll talk about that in a minute. And this actually the time freeze creates an environment of the real system state uh, so that it's all kept constant as it says here prevents any unwanted changes and prevents malicious threats being made and doing any harm to your computer so when you start it the icon is gray so when you start the once you've installed it you have to restart the machine and i've got as i as I said, version 2.1.0, I'm happy with that one because this is what it does. You start it, it freezes the um, system state and it says the time freeze protection is started and it goes this red color. Okay, now you just hide that, hide that and it shows there as frozen mode. So I've, I've inst downloaded a program called Glary Utilities which I don't want to install, but I want to test it on this machine, which is a virtual machine uh, on a Mac. And um, so I'm going to install it, and it's going to ask me for the um, admin password, which I've done. Uh, so this is how I test uh, programs when I'm not sure what they're going to do. So let's minimize this. and go through the install, install procedure and I'm not bothered with all this at the moment right but I'll untick it just to show you uh, it does all that it runs through the install but if I'm not happy with this program instead of creating a system restore and uninstalling it and it mucks up the uh, the system state I've frozen the system state so that it'll put it back to how it was before I did the install which is very good uh, so um, I'll let it run through I don't want to read this 
and let's run it and there it is it's installed uh, as you would uh, normally and you know and you got all the programs so now um, the programs is actually in as you can see in your on your machine if I go to programs features let's see if it's there there it is right it's sort of uninstalling it highlighting uninstalling it I'm going to drop the changes as if they never happened so um, go to your time freeze tool with time freeze enter the password which I've created stop the freeze now this is the option which this version gives it asks you to turn off all the protection uh, and drop all changes which is what I want to do and I, when I click OK the machine will restart to drop all changes the new version does that automatically it doesn't give you this option so if I decide to keep that program I have to tick this and then click OK so turn off as if I've installed it and I haven't frozen the state so let's do the first one click uh, uh, drop everything so it'll like get rid of the um, and the machine will start do you want All right, the machine will start before started okay it restarts logs you off shuts down now what it's doing is the tool with cipher is dropping everything uh, everything on your machine was protected and it will remove glary utilities as if it was never installed um, I could actually pause the video but I'm going to let it run through slightly slow because it's a virtual machine uh, shutting down now it's normally quicker than this I was gonna pause the video but I want to see exactly what happens when it's uh, doing it so now the virtual machine starts window starts do 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 just have to be patient sorry about the screen going like that so now I'm going to log in put in my password and hopefully fingers crossed everything was as it was before Glary Utilities was in store I'm just padding by talking over so that you don't get bored and I don't get bored but we have to watch the process okay now I'm just gonna wait till everything loads not a lot on there surely now you see it's gone okay if I check in control panel programs voila no glary utilities that's the beauty of this now if I decide to install a program and keep the changes I'll select the other one so this is what this one does I mean if you feel you wish to install the other one um, you read all the details on their website and if you can get hold of the version 2.1.0 which I like um, well and good you can see what it um, what it is capable of doing um, 
So yeah, this uh, restarted. I'm going to end the video there. Obviously it does file protection so it, you can add folders in there or files and then start the protection and it, uh, it'll protect those files so you can't do anything with that. Um, um, so yeah, that's it basically. Thanks for watching and um, bye for now.